Hello everyone. I am Hasek Sena from Informatica GCS. Today we will be going to learn about C3 installation on MDM 10.4 HF2. So the agenda for today will be we'll be covering the prerequisites to install the C60, then installation steps along with the demo, and after installation, how to cross-check the successful installation of the C360. Coming to the prerequisite, we have to review the PAM, that is the product availability matrix for customer 360 to make sure supported version of MDM database and application server is being used. There should MDM along with ActiveOS installed. Blank ORS with metadata imported should be registered with MDM Hub Console. Elasticsearch should be installed and configured with MDM. So we get C60 installers in an archive file. So we need to extract the MDM installer, uh, those archives to the MDM installation directory. Continuing to the installation steps. Uh, first, we need to have the blank ORS registered with hub and configured with AWOS. And we have to enable, enable the hierarchies for it. So here I have the CMS or, CMX ORX configured with the active OS. And now we have to enable the hierarchies. Go to hierarchies, database. It will prompt you to acquire a write lock to enable the hierarchies. Go to write lock, acquire write lock. Okay. Would you like to? So here we have enabled the hierarchies. Uh, please make sure that the correct workflow engine is configured with the ORS. ORS. Here we are going to use the BeActiveOS workflow engine. Next step would be to import the C60 changes from the InfraMDM app TCR hub change XML. Uh, to import the first we have to repository manager. We have need to validate the ORS. Go to promote change list CMX OS file repository. Choose the location of app change XML. Here we will find the uh, change list for the C360. Open it. It will validate the change list. Click on OK. It will take a few seconds time. Click on the apply changes. Full rollback. Validity integrity that needs to be true. It will take a uh, few moments to load this change list. So now we can see that changes were applied successfully. Coming to the next steps. Now we have to make some changes in the properties files, which would be available under the directory in MDM app TCR config. So on the first file we have to do is the application.properties file. Go to the directory in MDM hub app PCR config in the application.properties. We need to give the uh, ActiveOS JDBC URL. So can okay, ActiveOS JDBC URL? It would be. JDBC slash ActiveOS. 
we need to give the bulk input directory and comment this line and to the bulk import uh, file to upload directory. Uh, here I have given the path to the data upload. In the hub TCR, come data upload. Here, till here, we need to keep the directory till here. Save it. Next file we have to change is the MDMAX log project or properties file. So here we have to give the log 4 gmdr file input file. Uh, here we need to give the path where the, we want the log files to be generated. For me, I have given it to the TCR logs. And along with the file name, we need uh, file directory. We need to provide the file name. For so I'm giving it c 62 Save it. Next file, we have to update the URL in the MTM apps config properties file. MTM apps config properties file. For me, it would be localhost. If you if you are doing it on a server, give the IP. Port will be eighty eighty. Now we have need to run the install tcr dot pat. To run the install tcr dot bat, we need to go to the directory app tcr bin. tcr bin. And we need to run, we need to launch the command prompt here. And install tcr dot bat. It will ask for the hub installation directory. We need to provide the hub installation directory. Path to the install C60 install directory. That would be the part till the TCR folder. That is correct. We are doing it on the JBoss. A boss. Uh, we, we need to provide the boss console username and the console password. Console for name is this and console. Uh, I'm not configuring the TPM, so we can skip this. It will deploy all the ERs on the JPOS app server. Once the script is successfully run, it will show you the build successful. So it, it has finished the installation of the uh, C360. It will deploy all the ERs on the JBoss server. It will do the absurd URN mapping and the PPRs. Uh, coming to the end, it will show you. Build successful, and this completes our insert is your bad script. Coming to the next steps, uh, we need to set up the ES from the provisioning. So 
to set up the provisioning, we need to go localhost ATD provisioning. Not need to log in with the admin credentials. Select the ORS. Once you are logged in into the provisioning, go to configuration, infrastructure settings, class section, cluster, we need to create it. You need to create a ES node name. You can, you need to give the exact name, which we have defined in the uh, YML. You can cross verify it from the elastic search YML file. Yes, node one. We need to give the exact node name. And the exact URL. For me, it would be uh, your Elastic server should be up. You can Cross verify the same by hitting this URL directly into the Chrome tab. It will give you this kind of output. Go ahead and save, apply the changes. Publish it. So this completes our elastic search configuration from the provisioning part. Uh, second step is we need to configure the process server for the ORS and we have to enable the search processing for it. We go to the hub console, go to the process servers, select database. We have, I have it uh, configured. You need, you need to uh, click on edit, enable search process, enable search processing. We need to check to check box this. Okay. Save the configuration. You need to uh, check the pro process server test connection. It is passing. Next up we do, our next step would be to insert the lookup data using the script available at the InfoMDM app TCR data reference data directory. So we need to go to the InfoMDM app TCR data reference data. So here we will be having the script for the DB2 MSQL Oracle minus the MSSQL. So I need to, uh, I will go with the MSSQL. Copy a whole of this script. Go to the SSMS, that is the management studio and click, go to CMA Clorex, new query. It will give you uh, this kind of thing and paste the content here. Select all, execute it. See all the scripts are done. Now we need to run the batch group load job to load the lookup data. We have done the insert, insert lookup part. Now we have to run the batch group lookup data. Go to web console. Go to batch group. All lookup data load. Control and logs. Click on execute. Do the refresh. It will load all the data from the staging tables to the view.
It will take a few minutes time to complete all the lookup data load. Once the batch look complete, complete, it would show as the completed successfully. Now we need to create a administrative user for the C60 application. Go to users, acquire a write lock, uh, create a dummy user. Assign to the correct OIS, give the password. Go to the, now we need to assign this user to a particular group. Go to the users and group, select database. I need to assign it to the application administrator. Acquire the right lock, select the user. Now we need to validate the OIS. Go to repository manager, validate CMX OIS, validate. Once the OIS gets validated, you can uh, you can verify your CC application. You need to go to the slash c360 login with the application administrator user we created mm. Mm, let's try to access this in the incognito window Yes, uh, it is able to log in. It is scanned with the browser cache issue. Once you log in, you will be able to see all the draft record function, my record functionality, and everything. Uh, to verify the same on the active boss level, you can log in into the Active OS. Go to the catalogs. Process definitions. You can see the processes related to C660 are deployed on the ActiveOS server also. So uh, this completes our successful installation of C360. You can find the C660 installation configuration in the below URL and the product development matrix can be found at this URL. So this is all about today. We would love to hear the feedback from you. Thank you.